Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create 3D text in Adobe Premiere Pro. So essentially, this is what we're gonna be creating right here. We're gonna be creating text that rotates in a 3D platform. And as you can see, we kind of have control over this, um, and it's just, I don't know, it's given a 3D element. Now, with Premiere Pro, this is not built innately in, so essentially what we're gonna be doing is using the effects in a creative way to add this ability in. Typically, you do something like this in After Effects, but if you wanna do it in Premiere Pro, this is how you do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and create ourselves a new sequence. I'm just gonna exit out so it looks like a new project right here. We're gonna take our footage and we're just gonna drag it into the new sequence. It'll create a sequence with all of the settings in it. The footage I'm using right here is off of a website called Envato Elements. You pay a monthly subscription fee and you get unlimited amounts of stock footage. It's really, really awesome and great for so many different types of productions. If that's something you like, check out the description below. Next, what we're gonna do is, well, I'm going to just delete the audio off of it because it's kind of a loud whirring noise, it's just a helicopter. But the first thing you need to do is go to the text and then click anywhere to create text. In this situation, I'm going to create something, let's go Washington 2020 instead of Alaska 2020. We're then going to take this and position it wherever we want on the page. I'm just gonna go to the center again. And over here in the essential graphics panel, you'll see that it has created a graphics panel or essentially a graphics layer here and we have all the layers it's just a single text layer we then have the ability to, to do things like we can center the text which will allow us to center it within the box if we draw out a box we can change the color and then we can make it smaller or bigger right here i'm going to make it right about there we're then going to go into our effects and we're going to look for an effect called basic 3d it's going to be under video effects perspective basic 3d we're gonna take that and drop it onto our text layer, right like so. And now you're gonna see over here in the effect controls, which is using the top left panel up here, that there's going to be a basic 3D. We can then take the, the text right here and we can manipulate it with basic 3D control. It's going to essentially be using 2D sort of mathematics to make it look like it's a 3D element rotating in space. You'll notice though that once we get to the edges, it's just sort of a very flat thing. It actually even disappears right when it hits the 90 degree mark because it has no depth to it. So that's what we're gonna be trying to simulate is a certain sort of depth here. To do that, we're actually gonna be using an effect called Drop Shadow. So with Drop Shadow, it's going to create a shadow behind the element. So we're gonna drag that in just drag it onto your footage right like so. And we wanna maybe bring, bring the drop shadow beneath the basic 3D. And then you'll notice that if we take this, we bring the opacity up to 100, and then we bring the direction, or let's bring the distance out a little bit so we have a little bit better. We'll bring it out to like maybe right here. And then we have the ability to move the direction. So we're gonna, in this situation, let's go the reverse way. So we're gonna start on the left, the bottom left over here. We're then going to take the basic 3D and we're gonna create this swivel of it going from left to right. So we're gonna start the swivel this way, just slightly tilted to the left. We're then going to turn on the animation keyframe here and then go down to our drop shadow and we're going to toggle on the direction right here. We're then going to move forward. Let's say we wanna do this over the course of three seconds. So I'm just gonna move forward up to the three second marker right here, right about here. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop a swivel keyframe and drop a direction keyframe as well. Now, we're, throughout this, we also wanna do a tilt one. So if we go back to the beginning, we just wanna turn this one on, and then we wanna to move to the end one here and just click that on as well. And this is gonna help us in the center to make it look a little bit more realistic. Now we need to do our first sort of animation here. We're just going to swivel it to the other side. And now with the direction, we're gonna swivel that to the other side as well. So now what we have is this effect where we have it moving over time. Now the problem is when it moves over time, the bottom can sometimes separate out and it can create this sort of U shape that we don't want. So to mimic the basically 3D nature, we're gonna go into the center of these two keyframes and we're just gonna tilt it up just slightly. So maybe somewhere around, you know, like a, a minus 10. And that's gonna give us just a little bit more of a realistic view as it goes up. Now, right now, of course, it, it is not looking great. And this is where we're going to then sort of do the next step, which is actually add that depth in. So what we need to do is we need to create multiple instances of this drop shadow. We need to make sure that all the animations are how we want them here, because once we start copying and pasting, if we wanna make a change, we have to change all of them. So we're gonna first make sure that we like the way it does. And right now I do like the way it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this. I'm gonna set this one to a one right here at the distance. One, nope, not 13, one. We're then going to right click, copy, right click, 
paste and it's going to drop it above the basic 3D. We need to drop it below our last drop shadow and we're going to double the previous value. So in this situation, it was a one. So now it's going to be a two. We can also use the control C, control V to copy and paste it, drag it down. Instead of a two, it's going to be a four because two times two is four. We'll do it one or two more times. And each one of these is essentially going to be extending out the the bevel and you can see we're actually building a 3d element right here let's go one more so Control c v drag and drop the shadow down we're then going to go to 16 and now we have a pretty solid 3d element and now when we rotate it you're going to see that we've we're actually kind of creating the 3d effect here and there we have it so this one is a little bit more exaggerated than my last one, and maybe you'd want to go in and tune up the uh, the swivel here because it looks like the shadow goes a little bit quicker. You can see the shadow moves just a little bit out of sync with the front here. Um, so you'd maybe want to you know spin that around and really perfect it. But for what we're doing right here, this is the basics of creating the swivel that comes around. Now the final touch that we might want to add to this is to go ahead and add a little bit of um, light to here. So we're just going to search lighting and we're going to go to lighting effects and drag that on. Lighting effects will go to the top and essentially what we want to do is we just want to start the light at one direction. So we're going to maybe start on the left over here or we could start it even on the right. Yeah, let's start on the right here and then we're going to go to light one and we're going to take the center of it and animate that keyframe. If we hold the shift key, it'll, sh it'll jump between the keyframes we already have which is helpful because now all we have to do is just move it to the last keyframe and now we're at where it should end. Then we're gonna take the center and we're just going to, if you click back up here, this will appear and we can just drag it to the other side. And what this is gonna do is it's going to sort of just create a light that sort of stays in the same general location um, relative to the text. So it's gonna look like there's a light source from here and the light is going to slowly be coming out to the farthest point forward, which will create the more, more of an illusion that the text is actually spinning like that. And that is all you really have to do to create 3D text in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a sort of a simple product, a little bit tedious. If you want to work with After Effects, it'll definitely make all this simpler. But if you're just working with Premiere Pro and all you want to do is add a little bit of 3D text in, this is a great way to do it. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. There's also a newsletter up there that you can sign up for, which will give you all of these tutorials uh, basically broken up into different categories every week. It's a way to keep your learning going and to show you new parts and new fields of the Adobe software and anything really with filmmaking. Thanks everyone, and until next time, see ya.